Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and this is my two minute entertainment rundown for the week of July the 5th. The movie Faith of Our Fathers is a faith based film. It's got a good message to it, but it's just got a really poor script. I wish it were better. I wish I could recommend it to you higher. The film is rated PG-13 because it does flash back to the Vietnam War and there is some violence included there. Overall, I could only score it 4 out of 10. Much better was Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. This is a film that came out of nowhere and I saw it and loved it. It's about a high school senior, his best friend that he makes these offbeat movies with just to pass the time and then one day his mother tells him he has to go over and spend time with a girl who's been diagnosed with leukemia. The actors are not anybody that you have seen before but the, the script, the acting, everything about this movie is first rate. It's rated PG-13 because there is profanity and there is the you know severity of the illness that the girl is suffering from. I consider it one of the best. 8 out of 10. Then we have Channing Tatum back to reprise his role as Magic Mike in Magic Mike XXL. This film has no plot whatsoever. It's just thrown up on the screen. I don't know why they felt a need to make a sequel. I guess there's a bunch of people who just want to see men with their shirts off and Channing Tatum obliges in that respect. The film is rated R for nudity, profanity, and some mild violence. I scored it 3 out of 10. Arnold Schwarzenegger is back in Terminator Genesis. He's, he is the charm of the show. This film, the plot makes no sense at all, but the action is so intense that you'll enjoy it in spite of not having any understanding of what is going on. This film is also rated PG-13 because there is profanity, there is violence in it, and there is some nudity. I scored it 6 out of 10. Next week we're going to be talking about The Minions. I'm looking forward to that one. And Gallows and Selfless. This has been Jackie K. Cooper's 2-Minute Entertainment Rundown.